Hi, I'm Sam. I'm a teacher here at Maple Street Guitars, and I thought I'd take a second and talk about my favorite guitar, the Telecaster. Uh, today I'm using a Goodsell Super 17 amp made right here in Atlanta by Richard Goodsell himself. And uh, the thing I like about the Telecaster is it has a, a very unique tone and uh, a little different than a Stratocaster, a little different than a Les Paul. And it's great if you're doing music that you want to have a really sharp, uh, snappy uh, attack. Like uh, there's a Tom Waits tune that I do that goes like this. One of the main things I want to do with this uh, video is set up right hand. A lot of people come in, they've been self-teaching, trying to learn how to finger pick, and they've not set up a good right hand position. So I want to spend a little bit of time talking about that. So I'm going to play this little, this is a, a part of an original tune, and uh, works off of a, a, a typical B minor type arpeggio. So it'll go like this. Setting up the right hand, it's best if you start off by assigning fingers to strings. Index finger to your third string, middle to the second, ring to the first, and your thumb can play your remaining three bass notes depending on the bass note of the chord. That's not a rule. A lot of people think that's a rule that the fingers only play those strings, the thumb plays everything else. The fingers will play every string, the thumb will play every string. So what you want to do is uh, set your fingers up. You can do one finger per string, something simple like this. And what I'm doing is I've got my hand set at an angle where my fingers are in this diagonal line across the guitar and my thumb falls into that line. You can't play where your thumb goes into your hand this way. Your thumb is now trapped as soon as you play your finger. So you want to make sure that your thumb is set out in front of your fingers like this. And you can just practice simple arpeggios. This is an E minor. That's a great way to get familiar with finger picking. Just do a very simple pattern. And you can try to get more ambitious depending on what you're trying to do. But really do try to have your fingers and thumb set up this way. You also don't want to come in with your wrist and your hand straight like this because your fingers work like this. And if you're trying to play and you play with nails like I do, and you try to pluck the strings this way, you're going to get this. So if you turn this way, then all of a sudden you get a good attack as opposed to this. So all those things make up the proper right hand position. You'll notice my wrist isn't high. This is a more of a classical position, turns your thumb where you can get your thumbnail into the action. I tend to want to play with a little lower wrist. Almost everyone except classical players plays with a little more dropped wrist. And you can also touch the guitar. You don't need to be resting hard onto the guitar. You can just gently touch the guitar and it stabilizes your right hand. If you know where your hand is, your thumb can find the strings it needs, your fingers can find the strings they need. Whether you're playing something like a a, uh, a Bob Dylan old folk style uh, thing like uh, Don't Think Twice It's Alright. I'm using just a thumb and two fingers. I'm alternating strings. It's a very old school folk type of a pattern. This is Dear Prudence. I've, I've, uh, we took a quick break here and I retuned the guitar. We've got a drop D. It'll go like this. 
the, uh, the Dear Prudence uses a thumb on three bass strings like this. So it'll go. Now we're going to give you a close-up of Dear Prudence. To start this off, I'm just going to use a, a D in first position, just a normal D all the way down. You don't need to see the left hand. The thumb is going to do this. That's what you have to get first. If you can't get that going, don't go any further till you do. And then your fingers are going to fall in like this. I'm still with a D chord. This last thing is going to be uh, Rhiannon by Fleetwood Mac. It works off of just uh, two notes played together. And it has an F, and the reason I want to show you this is uh, uh, turning you on to using your thumb. When you hear people talk about using your thumb, they're not using the thumb the way you would use a finger. You're dropping your thumb over the top of the guitar, and at some point, just the weight of your thumb presses the note down and you that's a great F for a beginner to play an F like that. So this is Rhiannon. This works off of a droning bass and then you get this walk up with A minor. And then the F with the thumb. This is Sam McPherson coming to you from Maple Street Guitars. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you'll visit us on the web at maplestreetguitars.com. You'll find all the information about our teachers, the inventory, and any other information you have uh, that you would like about us. Uh, thank you once again.